So with Cyberpunk, you can see here, you can get cool looking graphs like this. So these are really good on the eye and they're very stylish. So to use them, all we had to do was install this Python library and package over here. And then using the clocked style and the use function, we were able to use the Cyberpunk theme or style. So now you can add some fancy stuffs to your graph by simply adding in a few extra commands. And you might be wondering at the minute this isn't used, but you can modify the behavior of the theme by importing in cyberpunk over here into your code. So as you can see here, what you can do is using the cyberpunk module over here, you can add a few effects. So if we, for example, add a glow effect over here and see what that does. So if I run this over here, so here you can see that you must include these two parentheses at the end. So if you don't, did you do this? So if you just do that, then remember this isn't ex actually executing the function. So you must add the parentheses. And once you add them, you can see that this is the glow effect that you get. You can add other effects such as this one. So this one is make lines glow. So let's have a look at that one. And you can see what this does is this is different. It hasn't filled in the areas under the lines. So if we put the other one back in, which is add glow effect, you can see that it has added the area under the line with this glow over here. But if you were to use this effect over here, then you do not get the glows under your lines over here. Uh, but you can add it separately by using add under glow. So if you were to add this line over here and call this function, what this will do is add under glow, or you can turn this one off to get a combination of different effects. So you can see here, see here there's no glow, but there is an under glow here on the line. Like I said, if you want both effects, then you can add add glow effects and this will do both of them at the same time. And you can see the line is glowing, glowing too, as well as the underglow over here. So you can see the, how the effects behave. And then you can do other things such as you can use the add glow effect, but pass it gradient fill true. So let's see what that does. But you can see this actually creates a, the gradient effect to your graph and it looks lighter. So this looks quite good as well. And you can see how the gradient starts off dark and then lighter towards the bottom. So yeah, just by installing this library over here and then calling the different functions of it and passing the different parameters, you can get some really nice looking graphs in MacLorclib in Python. And these will be useful for your machine learning journey.